Hi there, my name is Phil Higgins and welcome to the Ventures Onsite News Update for the third week of October 2020. Well, a special thanks to Janabco, our sponsor for the news this week. If you're looking to upgrade your construction equipment or add to your fleet, then please give the guys at Janavco a call. Well, the Oman Investment Establishment, the Oman Development Bank and Al Ali Bank and Oman's Daywood Contracting Company have signed an agreement for the financing and construction of a specialized hospital in Sahur. The hospital will have the capacity of 60 beds and is expected to start operations in 2022. The Saudi water partnership company SWPC has invited potential developers to submit expressions of interest for the potential development of an independent water project, IWP, to be designed using reverse osmosis seawater desalination technology. The desalination plant will be located in Ras Mahazen, which is 300 kilometers south of Mecca. The project is to be constructed with a 300,000 cubic meter per day potable water capacity and will include the desalination plant and all associated infrastructure and facilities. The advisors on the project are KMPG Alpha Zane and Partners as lead advisor and financial advisor, Evershed Sutherland International LLP as the legal advisor and WSP as the technical advisor. Well, Saudi Arabia's Diria Gate Development Authority, which is overseeing the 17.1 billion Diria Gate Giga project, has appointed United Engineering Construction Company as the lead contractor for the five-star Samhan Heritage Hotel located in the city of Diria within the Riyadh province. The Samham Heritage Hotel is the first of seven luxury hotels in the recently announced Diria development. Global engineering firm Pensan announced in a statement that it has secured a detailed engineering contract for crude receiving facilities in Jebel Dana in Abu Dhabi, the UAE. The project was awarded by Target Engineering Construction Company, engineering procurement and construction contractor for the project. The scope of works includes the development of facilities for unloading the upper Zakam field and non-systems crude at Jebel Dana from tankers. Target Engineering is a subsidiary of Arab Tech Holdings, which has been voted by its shareholders to proceed with liquidation. Arab Tech Holding had asked banks last week for a three-month standstill on debt repayments for Target, as sources have reported. Arab Tech told banks that Target had been identified as a sustainable business and could be protected from the collapse of the wider group if creditors agree to the standstill. Well, a consortium of B6 and Dan Jinal Group have been awarded part of the expansion plans for the port of Fujairah in the United Arab Emirates. The design and build contract consists of dredging the navigation channels and port basin, reclamation and shore protection, as well as constructing breakways, a 365 meter long key wall, foundations for shiploader rails, port infrastructure, and creating utilities and aids to navigation. The fishing harbor will be relocated in the process. Well, the Mac Properties has awarded a contract for the construction of Zada, a 26 story tower located in Dubai's Business Bay. The project has been awarded to local construction firm Trans Emirates Contracting LLC. The value of the signed contract is 49 million US dollars. Bahrain's Ministry of Housing has signed contracts for the construction of the 234 unit Wadi Al Sale housing project which is being financed by the GCC Development Programme. The contract was signed by the Ministry's Under Secretary, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, with Salman Al Jessa, representative of the Salah Abdullah Al Hamana Contracting Company and Partners, which will build the housing project. The project is expected to be completed in about 20 months and comes as a new step towards the implementation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Issa Al Khalifa's order to build 40,000 housing units in the kingdom. Well, that's it for this week. We hope this news update helps you stay informed so you stay competitive.
Hey, if you're new to our news, then please don't forget to subscribe so that you can be kept up to date with the latest construction news for the region and all future developments here at Ventures On Site. Thanks for your support and uh, we'd appreciate if you could leave a comment, even if it's just to say hi. Well, my name's Phil Higgins and this is Ventures On Site Live.